grind, grind. Today we are playing Edith Finch, and this should be, I think it's part five, if I'm, if memory serves. But we, uh, we found out we're pregnant. We found out how the baby died, which got monetized, so I had to mute it, by the way, so that's why there was no sound there. And then, uh, uh, we're up in Mom's Loft. We found out we're pregnant. We watched the deer kill, um, the kid's dad on a camping trip. We watched the kid get blown away from a kite. There's been a lot of death in this game, guys, and I'm, I'm wondering if we're going to see the girl that we're playing die. But let's find out. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and let's get at it. Military boy. And then we had to climb the rock wall. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Oh, yeah. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Aww, so our dad's name is Sanjay. Alright, so in this episode, we meet our dad. Oh, look at that rug, I like that rug. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Yeah. It usually helps or makes it harder. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. So she got on it. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Aww. Again, the music. I love the music when it comes in, but it's just not there enough, I don't think. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. There's the old house that sank off the shore. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Oh, they must have homeschooled? Yeah. Lewis rules, dude.
It's a cute little classroom. Reading is good. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Oh, that's neat. I want to see that. So Milton... Oh, he's still alive. 1992? I know, I saw that. I just want to make sure I'm not missing nothing. Or an opportunity for a beautiful picture. Let's take our pregnant self through this window. <sighs> I like that. That is a neat boat, but it's on stairs and I can't get a good picture of it. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. was four when Milton disappeared. Mm. Alright guys, we got Edie to do. I don't know who that K is. Sandry and Dawn. And Sven. It looks like. Let's see if he's done. down and then we'll have to go back outside. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Mom 
mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Look at those, uh, look at those chairs. Those are sweet chairs. There's our way in. Let's look over here. Those stairs are just gone. Alright. Oh, we should be able to sit in these. Can you just look out? Is this a boat? This is a boat built into a building. Oh, it's a hippie spot! Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. That's the screenshot right there, guys. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. <laughs> we got a mini fridge. I like this guitar playing in the background. That's a crazy bomb. Little Bo Reaper in the ball, man. Gaming. Man. Red King Stream. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. <laughs> this might be my favorite room. Oh. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew quite himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to wander. Oh. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. He took it very seriously. I had hoped to find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery.
I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lucas Topia. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. No longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Queen was on her own quest for sinister servants. He followed the sound of her. Silver Harp. Oh, don't be copyright song. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination.
but he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. began to forget the world we know. Oh, uh, look, I had <laughs> Nintendo Switch knockoff. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder, The palace would be packed with his companions. Including the wise Calico who had insisted on advising him. your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Man, we're almost done. We got Dawn and Edie. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. Yeah. 
But I understand why we left. by herself? Or was Edie already dead? My mom ended up leaving everything behind. that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Hello, little bird. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. All right, guys. Here's Edith. <sighs> oh, wait, our that whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until yeah, supper, when she that. raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. library we saw in the early episode. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Your children aren't dead because of the stories. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? No, we can't put her in a home. We put her in a home? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Yeah, she went to the old house. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, yeah, I've right seen here. that house every day of my life. That's crazy thing about it, she was born in it. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Let's keep going straight. I got turned around. We didn't turn anywhere. I 
I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. <coughs> or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. <laughs> Bye, Grandma. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Did she die? She died. After that, we moved around a lot. Your mother killed your grandmother. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. Your nails. She started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Oh, are we a baby? This journal oh, was supposed to be for you. Baby coming out. This is exactly. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. This just went from. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now. We died! Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck.
well, guys. climbing wall, the baby's thing. Yeah, guys, this was a, a uh, the stories, it's a handful of stories, and they all tell different stories that all weed to the climax of this story. And uh, you just find out about this whole history of this cursed family for 500 years, and then we find out that we die, <laughs> and uh, giving birth to the last finch. So I'm curious to see. In Dragon, I didn't wait out the credits long enough, and at the end there was something I wish I would have got on screen, but I didn't. Ah, uh, this is sad. Another complete, this is my second completed series, though. I'm waiting to see if there's anything here at the end. Oh, that saw that was above the, uh, by the fireplace in the living room. I think the only achievement I didn't get was take both roads to the house. I wonder if these are like all the kids' pictures. Oh, it's that clock. All the kids' pictures, or all the people that made the game as kids. Music box with a key in it. Chinese food on the corner because they're the only place that would deliver. Ah, the kitchen refrigerator. Replay a story option is available to so select Edith to play from the beginning. <sighs> so that, dude, that was so sad. <laughs> so you can replay different stories. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. We beat Edith Finch. It was in the moment. It was. That last episode was weirdly super sad, but there's still a finch out there, so that's good to know. Alright guys, later.